Well, first of all, you have the legal aspects, right? Um, I'm not a lawyer for any stretch of the imagination. And I don't know if it would hold up in court. It probably, I, I really don't know. But, but the way we run our little company is that when, you make, when we make an agreement with the customer or something, we record it, like what you're doing right now with this guy, conversation here, then that becomes the basis for our agreement. That way we avoid having to draft like 15 freaking page contracts and spend countless hours and countless fees to lawyers uh, 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 doing a contract like that. Because you and I make agreement, I'm going to do a portal for you, it should have these and these fees, we talk about it for an hour, two hours, whatever, and then you say, okay, we estimate that portal is going to cost $78,000. Based on all the things we talked about, that becomes our contract. Now, whether that's legally binding, I really don't know. Because nothing prevents us from having that conversation today, uh -huh. and three days from now, make another agreement which we sign with say, okay, now it's not $78,000, now it's $68,000 because we took out these features. And if and we forget to invalidate the previous recording, it's right. Yeah. Exactly. So there, there are some aspects there where one party can always, I guess, go and claim that this was done before or after. And I don't know how to handle it. I really don't know. It's about, you know, when, when you do business, it's about... You have to do business with people you can trust. And I know it's, it's easier said than it's done. But you can write contracts from here to Singapore and back again. If the other party wants to create trouble, they can. They can. So if there's no meeting of mind, don't do business. Like, like, just don't. And, and that's how we try to do it. And I, and I, we have learned over the years that the Skype conversation record like this, it actually works fine. Right now, we have two signed contracts with two customers who just have to have a signed contract. <laughs> but, but it took, you know, but it helped. It did, both times it delayed development. One time it delayed, one party delayed development for months and half, the other one was delayed for months because we just could not agree on this stupid contract. Because once you sign it, right, mm. once you sign it, once you sign it, that, that, that's how it is. And a good lawyer can always take what you sign and explain it in a different way and so on and so forth, for which reason you have to be 100% sure that every sentence would hold up in court as to what was agreed. And it was extremely time consuming, it cost a lot of money, like it was, one of them was a Danish company, they spent 50,000 kroners, 50,000 kroners on a freaking contract. And are we making better software because of that? Nope. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now we have a nice contract with this 10 pages long line there, smiling. <laughs> anyway, I Souvenir of the 20th century mindset. Um, Something like All right. Uh, well, technical question. Do you have any sort of a automatic redundancy system where you share the file of the recorded conversation? Or is that, that something you offer your clients? Um, or they just, they oh. just trust you to, to keep track of all that? No, we tell our clients that we record, we tell our client what software we use, it's up to them to, to, to go out and buy the same software for $50 or whatever it costs. When, when we record a conversation, then it's sent from the computer somehow to a server here in the office. And then every night we do what's called a remote backup where, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it takes all our servers here in Manila, get backed up over the internet to, uh, to a company in the state. So that if we have a fire or earthquake or, or, or whatever happens, we're going to lose all our computers and what happens, it doesn't matter. But you're not going to lose the core with the software and graphic design so on. It all backs up every night. Right. And that we be very, very particular about, and including the uh, all the recorded Skype conversations. So somehow it's sent to the server and then from there it's somehow backed up. I'm not sure how it works. Right. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh it's easy to, to see how you could run into problems with uh, insisting that as a recorded Skype conversation should hold up in court. Uh, but it seems, I mean, since this is, um, we agree, it's such so much more efficient way of doing business. And, well, <laughs> compared to an email, it's a hell of a lot easier if you have a Skype conversation with someone to, to figure out whether or not this is something you think, someone you think you can trust, than from just a wall of text. Um, so it seems that there will be, uh, you know, a potential market for uh, some sort of product that could provide extra layers of security to go along with a recorded Skype conversation. 
some easy way of tracking that uh, these two people actually had this conversation from that location to that at this particular time? Well, it's going to come. Mm -hmm. One thing that I also use a lot is voice recognition. Um, fortunately, in our industry, English is a normal language, so even though I speak with a, with a horrible Danish accent here, um, everything we do in writing is always in English. So I use a voice recognition system from called Dragon Dictate. It costs I don't know, $200, uh -huh. and then top of the line, high five, a hammer, and a little loops, the best microphone we can get for, uh, for, for uh, noise cancellation. And that does that whenever I have to write an email or report or whatever the hell I have to write, I just speak to my computer and it writes, fine, that's what I say. Um, that saves a lot of time. Now, right now the technology is not there, but in five years or in ten years, <clears throat> a conversation like the one you and I have can be transcribed automatically. Just look, if you look at the first translation programs you got from, from, from uh, you could get, you know, translate from Danish to English or mm -hmm. from English to German or whatever, the quality was really, really poor. Today, you using Google Translating tool, we have no problem when we get a, uh, I wouldn't say no problem, but, but we generally do not have problems when we get a project description in German or in French or Spanish or Danish or whatever comes in, putting it into Google Translate, click a button, and then we have it in English. It is fairly accurate. Of course, there are things that are not good enough, but it's fairly accurate. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, it was a joke. The same thing is going to happen here for, 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 for voice recognition. Today, it works in my office when I close the door with the super, the best microphone money can buy. I have a super fast computer. It works, and it actually works quite well. Five years from now, ten years from now, the conversation you and I have will be transcribed well enough so that you can put it into a database. Now, when you can put it into a database, you can start to do your searches. That's when it becomes really powerful because then you and I have a meeting about something that has to get done. The whole thing is transcribed, put into a database, we can now perform a search. Now think about that. Uh -huh. That's the way it's going to go. It's guaranteed to happen. The question is when. And, and I don't know, obviously. But five, ten years, I guess. Then, then uh, maybe even faster than that. Yeah, it could, it could even faster. Um, but yeah, that's uh, most likely the way to go. And once, once we hit that point, of course, it will be automatically tagged and shared. Exactly. In the appropriate channels. Uh, I mean, uh, exactly. So then, then your legal binding, legal binding uh, uh, conversation slash transcript here, all of a sudden uh, uh, may actually be the basis for the for the contract because you and I spent two hours agreeing to something that's going to cost sixty eight thousand dollars. It you click a button, the whole thing is transcribed. Well, then we can sign. I don't really care because that's the same as what we talked about. It's it's writing these freaking contracts and the way these lawyers can word things. You know. You read a sense that you have to read it three, four times just to comprehend. You have, you what have to have another machine like me to decode this. That thus we ensure that we will never be out of work. <laughs>